Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a wig install. This wig is a wig from Tinashe Hair. I think it's like a new hair company that I've been seeing like floating around on Instagram and TikTok. Just a disclaimer, I have not worn wigs in over a year. It's probably been like closer to two years that I haven't worn wigs. So this is my first time installing a wig in almost two years and i'm a little bit rusty so i do consider myself like a beginner at this point so here are the specs on this wig it is their barrel curls glueless lace wig it's five by five and it's 16 inches so that means there's five um, inches of lace right here and five inches of parting space that goes back this is the length of the hair it stops like just you know right at my chest just above my boobs but if you guys want to see how i install this wig from taking it out of the packaging to bleaching the knots to messing up the knots girl yes i over bleached these knots but i tried my best to fix it like i said i feel like i'm a beginner again but if you guys want to see how i install this wig then just keep on watching so like i said this wig is from tanache hair this is their barrel curl glueless lace wig 5x5 five five hd lace front wig it's a lightly curled wig that i was able to just brush out with my fingers there's two combs on the side one at the back they also have brown straps on the sides and an adjustable strap on the back this is how the lace looks against my skin if you're wondering so let's get into bleaching the knots as you can see I'm starting off completely wrong when you're bleaching your knots you should start at the back and not the front and that's because the front will bleach faster and it will you know set you up for over bleaching your knots which I definitely did but I just use 40 volume developer and um, BW2 powder and yeah i just kind of got it to a thickness that i liked put it all over and then put a plastic bag over it for about an hour after that i went in and i washed all the bleach off with some cool water then i added some shampoo and got that extra bleach off and then i went in and washed the hair as well so yeah just wash and condition it and just make sure you know you're getting all that bleach off and getting the hair nice and clean and as you can see i over bleached the knots like crazy i didn't film it on camera but i went back in with a root touch-up dye for the knots that i over bleached and that helped a little bit
this is the final look. I put some curls in the hair, but I didn't put any like product to help them like hold. I think my biggest issue with this wig was just the lace. This is HD lace, but um, in the past when I've ordered wig from different sites, I've received um, better HD lace that was, you know, more HD. It was thinner, um, it blended better in the skin, or I should say melted better in the skin. And I didn't really have an issue bleaching the knots. Granted, I bleached the knots for way too long. And then I went back and had to touch up the roots as best as I can with some um, hair dye. So that was my fault for over bleaching the knots. But I do think the lace in general could have been like more true to HD. The hair itself is very, very soft. It's very silky and the density is supposed to be 180. Um, like I said, I haven't like worn wigs in a very long time, but I do like the density. I don't think it's too thick or too thin. I think it's like very like, like a natural density, if that makes sense. As far as shedding goes, I did see some shedding when I was like washing the hair, when I was like bleaching the knots and stuff. Although I think like it's common to see shedding when you're bleaching the knots. I know some wigs like you see no shedding at all and the knots are like so perfect and everything's like super duper sturdy. But with this wig, you can expect some shedding. So just be careful when you're washing and just brushing your hair. Try not to like go ham on it. Just be very gentle um, because you will experience some shedding. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this wig was like $158. But I used the code SUMMER and I think it took off like 25%. So I got this wig for under $120, which I thought was a great deal because it's kind of hard to find wigs like under $200 these days, but make sure you use the code SUMMER or you can head on to Nashe's like Instagram page and just go on their post and you'll see like other codes that they're like, you know, um, I guess like guaranteeing for like this time period. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, let me know what you guys think about, you know, my install. Let me know if you guys have any tips for me so I can just kind of brush up on, you know, installing wigs. Hey y'all, so real quick, I just wanna let y'all know that I actually went in to the root of this wig with some um, root touch-up spray from L'Oreal. So what I did was I just put like a shoelace down the middle of my head and then um, I sprayed it so that, you know, the part is a little bit tighter, I guess. It's more narrow and you can't really see that, you know, the scalp is over bleached and then i went in with a little bit of concealer so that um the color is a little bit more natural you know i just tried to fix it to the best of my abilities thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below make sure you hit subscribe and definitely give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one